My name is Alicia Fair and I uh, work with the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. I'm a biologist uh, in the Damage Assessment and Resource Protection Program. We go out and assess damages to natural resources in the sanctuary and then we do restoration to try and make them whole again. Mainly it's vessel groundings, small vessel groundings, and um, the habitats we primarily work in are seagrass and coral reef habitat. We arrive on scene, we locate the grounding with the coordinates we were provided, and then we perform our natural resource injury assessment. We have um, survey grade GPS equipment, has submeter accuracy, and we actually will trace um, the features of the injury. In post-processing of that data, we can actually get areas and volumes, and, and we can put it in a report where someone who read it would understand sort of the size and severity and location of the injury. So usually a biologist will walk the actual features of the injury holding the GPS antenna to collect all the features. To categorize what the habitat type is like, it's pretty much taking quadrats and estimating percent cover of seagrasses and macroalgae and even coral in the damaged area and in the reference area to get an idea of what was lost. We also take a picture of the quadrat and tags are used to keep a record of the number of the quadrat so it correlates to the data sheet. Part of our menu of restoration techniques that we use specifically for seagrass, we basically try and bring the damage up to grade. Say if someone made a big hole, we want to fill that hole, so we use a combination of loose sediment fill and tubes, which are these biodegradable tubes filled with sand. We use that to sort of bring the area up to grade and then we plant seagrasses. What is done to fertilize the seagrass is we use a technique involving birds, bird roosting stakes, and what these are is pretty much just PVC with a wooden block on top, and we basically try and get the birds to come to those sites, sit on the stakes, and defecate, and that actually is a natural fertilizer to um, allow the grass to grow and to fertilize the grass, the new planting units that we put in. After we do restoration, we do monitorings of the site to see how it's responding and if there needs any sort of remedial corrections as far as needs seagrass planted again or needs further restoration. Um, we also do the quadrat for the habitat classification, and then we use a smaller quadrat where we actually count the shoots of the individual seagrasses um, to sort of give us an idea of density of the seagrass in the surrounding area and what's happening in the area we restored. We do want the area that we restored to go back to the surrounding reference area.